Harbor Tower, Cessna 4614 Bravo, holding short of 24 for via fire departure to the northeast. Cessna 1-4 Bravo, Harbor Tower, right turn on course, runway 24, clear for takeoff, wind 280 with 13, gusts 21. Clear for takeoff, 24, right turn approved, 4614 Bravo. Final clear. over to Oakland Southwest. Because the wind's coming from that way. Right, yeah. Well, well at least with the wind, the uh, the haze is cleared. Oh yeah, it has. <laughs> it's a very nice clear day. <laughs> yeah, we get to go right over the big house. Alright, let's just go higher. Alright, 2500. Can we go higher with the Bravo? We could go higher if we want. Yeah. Okay, that's not too far anyway. So, take off throttle, set, flap, protected, and your monitors are all still green. Alright. So, you see where the numbers actually start there? Yeah. Cool. That's our aiming for. The dome. I see nine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I see the line. Cool. So that's kind of what we're aiming for to touch right down on. Oh, after you touch down, flaps up, and a good amount of braking, but, you know, keeping the brakes locked up. Oh. I hate the sun. Wait, like, not most of the time, but right here I do. Okay, so let's just hold her out for a little bit, because there's a lot of trees that are all in the shadows right now. Yeah. Just, yeah, keep this until we're on the center line a bit closer. Those trees go invisible in the shadow. Yeah. All right, you're looking good. Just keep your power in. Don't descend any lower, right? Just angle. Yeah, good bump of power. As a thing. Nope. Good, just hold this. And then as you get kind of over the safe environment, then start bringing it out a little bit. That's awesome, arrow if you want to that. So now start to transition a little power out. Doing good center line. Keep bringing that power back. We're fast. Real far back. Almost to idle here. Okay. Get it down. Hold it off though. So. Alright, just go around. Yep. Very nice approach, just, you know, fast at the end. Yep. Okay, stay over the runway because there's trees to your left. Yep. Cool. Okay, just pitch up a little bit more. Good. Yeah, I'll get your flaps to 10. Expect a little drop here. Hold the nose up. Good. So that was a nice approach you had. Uh, we'll just slow down a little bit more at the end, and you'll be right on. Because you can see that was coming in pretty nicely. Yeah. It, you can feel it. You just that, can't right? see the, uh, the stuff. <laughs> see what you're trying to avoid. I know, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I just kind of maintain 17 or 1600 feet in the base, and then when you turn final, then you can do a little lower energy for 
descent without picking up too much speed. Nah, so just leave it at flaps 10 for a minute. Alright. This is fine. Yeah, so keep keep the nose up, maintain this altitude, right? Add a little power. Or just pitch up whichever one. And kinda wait till we're at a point that we need more approach. And you're gonna see in the winds. I normally want to be smooth on the throttle, but when them is you have to be a little bit more authoritative uh -huh. with the reduction at the end or adding it in a stink. But you know, if you add a big bump of power, you won't keep it in the whole time, just until it subsides. Okay. Here, let's go. Flap 20. Reduce uh, that speed some more, so just keep pitching up for a bit. We'll bleed it off. Yep, there you go. And then maybe power back slightly, but I don't know, it feels like you're pretty good right now. Right, 65 knots, 5 knots to the gust. Good, pulled us all the way in, don't want to get any lower of an angle. Really nice. Okay, give it a little power. Good, just hold it there. Looking nice. Don't take any power out until you're closer. Now start easing it back, in it back. Coming to idle. All the way to idle. Yep, okay, we're gonna land here. Start floating it out, idle. Pull it off, little left rudder, right aileron. Okay, flap up, maximum braking. Yeah, give it some good brakes. We can go on to this place threshold though. You let it get out go on. Yeah, okay. Can I use this? Well, I mean, it's kind of tight, but go ahead, go ahead. I would, like, you're totally fine to roll onto that. Oh, right, right, right. But don't worry about right, reaching to make this. We're all right, let's taxi back and we'll do our check. That was good. All right, looks good. Take out performance. We were up at like 800 feet. Okay, good. Just keep pitching for that speed. They're right over, right over, right over the, right over the center of the runway. Look good. And we're clear of the trees, but I the flat dip for uh, another minute or two. They're clear. Then you accelerate the Y. All right, so reduce some power. Keep a little pitch up. Yeah, don't let it drop down. Okay, big. Nice. Okay, big sink there. Good, up the power, keep the wings level. Alright, keep all the power in. Until you get down here, start transitioning it out, coming out to idle, idle, pull power back. A little earlier there, Adam. I just float it out, keep it towards the right. Just hold off, we got space. Yeah, a little firm there, but nice center line. Feels like the wind's temp. Relax, no, relax, relax, brakes. Pull out, pull out. No, we're grinding those. It felt like the wind's kind of died down there for a bit again. Yeah. Not smoother a bit. Yeah, that was good. Just when you get down over the display threshold, right? It's kind of when you start gradually transitioning it out. Because after you pull power to idle, it's still going to have about 10 seconds of floating until it lets you touch down. Right. right. 
Just getting that airspeed under control. Okay, keep reducing power. Pretty high here. Almost to idle for a little bit. Alright, see if that helps you get down. Gotta just come back to idle. There you go. Okay, just pitch right for the numbers. You're aiming just slightly short of it. A little bit nosed up. Good. Keep a little touch of power in. Now you're there. Power comes all the way back. Just float it out. A little flare again. Yeah, a little more flare, right? Even when we're fast with wind, we can still get the stall horn. Alright, and now just no brake, let it roll. Feel it a little slower, and then slow down. And I guess keep that back pressure to protect the nose feel, right? You can still treat it a little bit like a tough field. In terms of potholes and crap. And bounce. <laughs> little break here. That yeah, was nice. Approaching at like 70 knots for now. Slow it down, but hold your altitude, right? And our spacing looks fine. There. Yeah, I ahead see of it. Us. Oh, cool. oh, it's a little glimmer there. It's the flash that's yeah, kind of cool. at the second so point. One four, the traffic just about over the numbers. I'm with you, folks. Clear to land. Clear to land. Two four one four Bravo. Okay, so keep the pitch up so we don't think. Right, and then once you're on speed, I still keep your flap. I mean, up oh, yeah. until we're or just so oh. far out. Yeah. It's going to take forever. That's okay. Yeah, notice anytime you're flying into headwind, you need more power to maintain a, you know, glide slope angle. Yeah. I like to think of it as running on a treadmill. <laughs> Trying to get somewhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that flag is way more helpful than the wind stop. Yeah. Northwest East, Bravo Charlie, connect. Northwest East, Bravo Charlie, 703. There, runway. Okay. Watch that airspeed. Yeah, a little fast. A lot fast. Make sure we're either landing on center or a little bit to the F1 side, right? This looks good. Kind of see the right half of the runway. Still you over the middle. Okay, just start transitioning a little power back. Keep some in. Great now. Power coming to idle. Load it out. All the way to idle. Because it won't land to here. Go. Keep coming to your right. Good, stall horn, straighten out the plane. Nice. Now we can make alpha two, maybe. Keep that back pressure so it stays the nose still. 